Welcome back everybody, Littlefish here with another random review. And today I have two Briar Pocket Box Dogs Blind Bags, as well as a Kitten Club Scottish Tissues Blind Box. So, without much further ado, let's get started. And I think I will begin with one of these Briar Pocket Box Dogs Blind Bags. Just found these at Toys R Us the other day by Briar, or Brayer. And this bag includes two dogs, a dog bowl and sticker. It's meant for the ages above four. And on the front, it's got a dog bone with the word dog and a bunch of different types of dogs. You have a Doberman Pinscher, something that looks a little bit like a Pomeranian or maybe it's a Puppy Chow Chow, a Spaniel, Cocker Spaniel, English Bulldog, not too sure what that little puppy is, and a German Shepherd Dog with a little dog house in the front. It's super shiny. Warning at the bottom for choking hazards do not give to children under the age of three. There are tear strips on the sides of the bags. And on the back of the bag it shows all the different dogs you can get. So you can get an Alano Espanol, Boxer, Fox Terrier, St. Bernard, Poodle, Bulldog, Husky, Sharpay, Dachshund, Chow Chow, Jack Russell, Spaniel, Beagle, Cocker Spaniel, Labrador, Pomeranian, Bernese Mountain, Collie, Toller, Newfoundland, a Bracco or Braccio Italiano, Doberman, German Shepherd, and West Highland. So those are all the different types of dogs you can get. Sorry if I pronounced some of their names wrong. These were released in 2017 by Briar Animal Creations. And it says, in the interest of better quality and value, we are constantly improving and updating our products. Consequently, pictures on this package may sometimes differ from the enclosed. There are little peep holes, or maybe those are air holes, in the bag. So as you can see, everything comes in a little box, and the box is actually pretty small. So I imagine these figures are going to be tiny. So again, that's probably why they're not meant for young children. Contains two dogs, one dog bowl, one box, and one sticker. I wonder what they mean by box. It doesn't say that on the front of the bag, it just says two dogs, dog bowl, and sticker. Customer, please retain this package and address for future reference. Okay. And for more information, you can go to briarhorses.com. Briar is mostly known for their horses, but it looks like they are doing other animals. And I am looking forward to their spirit riding free toys but those won't be out until sometime this summer. Nonetheless, now that we have taken a look at the packaging, let's open it up and see which kind of dogs we have inside. So open up the bag, I didn't use the tear strips, and you get a little box. So again, this is a very small box, which means that the dogs inside are probably even smaller than for the ages above four, Briar Pocket Box Dogs. And these are definitely a pocket-sized box. See on the back? Dogs, and not meant for the ages 0 to 3. Briar, or Brayer, not really sure how to pronounce that. And the box just slides out. And two tiny little dogs. And what are they? This is the scenery on the inside of the box. And that actually looks like a picture taken from Central Park. Hmm, interesting. So one picture box. And we got a sticker of a poodle. And our first dog is a poodle, like this sticker. They're very rubbery and bendable and just very, very tiny. Hold it really close to the camera. So this is the poodle. Wow, that you can even see that they gave it claws. Very small little green dog bowl that does not look anything like a dog bowl from what I've seen of dog bowls. It looks like it's supposed to be the cap to something to keep water or air in. Um, the poodle's head for now. Oh, it looks like a little graduation cap for the poodle. It doesn't look like a dog bowl at all. So tiny. And then our next dog is, I guess, a spaniel of some kind with a little spattering of brown paint. I guess this is a spaniel. Interesting. So this one is also very rubbery, but because it has more body to it, it's not as bendable as the poodle. Its legs are pretty bendable though. From the top, from the bottom. So this, I guess, is a spaniel. And we have our party poodle right here. And I guess this is supposed to be a little diorama. I'm not too sure, but this is how they fit inside the box with the picture. 
On to the next blind bag. And next blind bag. So Briar Pocket Box Dogs. This is the pocket box. And it looks like the doggies are a little stuck right there. So let's see. The picture on the inside of this box is a cozy living room or den. As our sticker, we have a St. Bernard. And as our dogs, we have a, I guess this is a bulldog puppy. It looks kind of like a bulldog. This one is also very rubbery. Squishy, rubbery little puppy. And a dachshund. Or maybe it's a basset hound. Is there a basset hound on the back? Mm, nope, I guess it's a dachshund. A very wrinkly kind of dog. Coloring also looks like a basset hound, but I don't know. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Is this a dachshund or is this a basset hound? They're so tiny and they both come with a little blue bowl. So dachshund and bulldog-ish looking puppy. There we go. I will admit, I love dogs, but I think because of the size, they kind of sacrificed some quality in these, or maybe it's just the material. I think I would prefer one larger, better made dog than two teeny tiny little dogs with so-so paint jobs, but that's just me. And this is what they look like in their little diorama. So I'll put those down together. Got the Kitten Club Scottish Tissues Blind Box. Got two kitties in tissue boxes on the front. And there are five in all to collect. It says the types of cats that they are. White cat, gray cat, or gray Scottish tissue cat. And these were either made or maybe distributed by the Capsule Foundation. So I do remember that these were capsule toys in Japan. These are the other three cats in the collection. Back to the front of the box, top of the box. Nothing on the bottom of the box, except for choking hazards. These are small and are not intended for ages under three. So let's open it up and see which Scottish tissue cat we have. And we have an insert. <laughs> Kitten club with all the different kittens you can get. And I guess they are stackable. A little bit more about Scottish tissues, capsule foundation. They pose a choking hazard. And these are from Japan. So we've looked at that. Let's take a look at our kitty. And we have the striped kitty in the blue box. Ooh, it's kind of heavy. Wasn't expecting that. So we got the orange striped cat in the blue Scottish fold box. Got little blue kitties on each side as the design. It just looks like a little kitty ran and went through the box of tissues. Scottish Fold box. <laughs> this is pretty cute. And from the back, you can see some of the fur peeking through the top of the tissue box. And the bottom. And the bottom pretty much has the same information. You can stack them and all the choking hazards. It's very, very small, so it's very hard to read. But it's pretty much the same stuff that you see in the pamphlet. And I think these are based on Maru the cat that really liked to jump in all those boxes. And Maru, I think, was a gray kitty. And I have a nice orange, white, and brown striped kitty. And that's pretty much it. So these are the three blind items that I have for today. Two Briar Pocket Box Dogs blind bags, as well as a Kitten Club Scottish Tissues Scottish Fold box. And in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Of these items, which one was your favorite? Do you like these Briar Pocket Box Dogs? I am definitely still looking forward to the Spirit Riding Free Blind Boxes, or Blind Barns as they might be called, which is pretty cool. Hoping they're of a sturdier material than this rubber stuff, but hey, you gotta go with what you got. Hoping that they are 
much bigger than this because these are really tiny, but we'll just have to wait and see. And what did you guys think of the Kitten Club Scottish Tissues Cat? If you like this review, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. And for further content, you can always follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, everybody, I guess it's a dachshund. Dachshund. Dachshund? I have a problem saying it.